What happens after we're baptized? Number one is that you break away from the old way of life. You got to. You break away. There's, a, there's, a, there's an outward sign of an inner reality that you must live out. Okay? So break away from your old life. You cannot continue in ungodliness. You can't. Because Jesus owns you now. There's a new standard of living that you've got to get into. A new standard of living. This means that from baptism on, there are new principles that you've got to live by. And these principles are principles of the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God. You live a new life. It means that there are blessings, yes, I know, but there are also obligations to this new life. We are praying for believers that don't only talk, but they walk their talk. There should be no doubt in your house or in your home or in your workplace that you are a believer there should be no ambiguity about you between your words and your actions we're looking for those believers a new standard of living and thirdly you must be a disciple of jesus what is a disciple a disciple is a follower of jesus christ a person who says i live for jesus i have no rights i have responsibilities in christ in fact when paul is talking about I'm a servant of, of, of the Lord Jesus Christ. The word he uses is dolus, which means I am a slave of Jesus Christ. A slave. I have no rights. I do what Jesus tells me to do. Because Jesus came as a servant and he's expecting us to be followers in the same order.